Grand Rising, everybody. Welcome to the very first Monday meditation. It starts at 5.30 a.m. PST. And if you're joining me for the series, it is free, it is open to anyone and everyone who has an interest in spending anywhere from 10, 20, 30, and potentially in the future as we develop the group, 45, even perhaps an hour. I love hour-long meditations. I haven't done one in quite a while, yet that is where I find most of my serenity really come into play. When I truly feel in control of my mind is when I undergo that hour of practice, continuously turning in and tuning in to myself, to the breath. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. And that is not why we're here. We are here for practice. P and, you know, practice starts with P, perfect starts with P. Coincidence, I think not. That's the only real way we can make our way towards that goal, right? So for this very first meditation, I simply want to go over just a couple things before we dive in. First and foremost, if you're listening to this on the podcast that I am recording this for, or in addition to, then please be mindful. (laughs) If you're driving, do not close your eyes. Be aware of your surroundings and use this as a time to ground down into yourself, into what you're doing, into the car, feeling the steering wheel with the hand, really feeling the energy exchange between your hand and the steering wheel, between your buttocks and the seat, your legs, so forth and so on. Whatever you are smelling, seeing, touching, hearing, tasting, those are the senses that you're going to tap into even when you're driving, but just be very mindful, please. Everyone else, I would love for you to come into a seated position if that is available for you today. Otherwise, lie on the back, knees bent, or sit in another position that feels good for you. If you're new to meditation, maybe sitting on a pillow, having the hips raised higher than the legs will help you have an upright spine. Perhaps going against a wall will feel good a little bit less taxing if you're new to sitting in this upright position. And as we sit here, I welcome you to release all tension within the body. Every muscle that is actively trying to participate in your body, allow it to let go and just be. And just take this moment to sort out and move through and comb your body. Set it up exactly how you want. As we go through this, the biggest thing I want you to know is that there is no right or wrong way to meditate. Maybe there will be specific directions. Maybe I will have a certain theme for the day. Maybe I will be teaching a little tidbit in the beginning, like I'm talking to you now before we get into the nitty gritty of the meditation itself. And maybe you show up to have a container and that's it. That is a okay with me because I am just here to hold space. I am here to provide a space and direct if that is something you feel called to follow for the day. There's no rule saying you have to listen to what I'm directing or saying. And it's completely up to you. If you're breathing a different pattern that feels much better for you, much more supportive for you in the moment, 
that's the best thing that you can do. If you know anything about my coaching, my fitness training, I empower you to make the big choices. I lay out the structure. I give you the guidebook. I show you the map, the route, and which to take. And if your body, if your mind, if your emotions are not in that space, need a little bit something different, I trust you. I trust you, you that you know what's best for you. Isn't that riveting? Isn't that nice? Let's, let's all the pressure go. So thank you for showing up if you're here. Just wanted to say that. And for this meditation in particular, what we're going to be doing is we are going to be simply witnessing our bodies, witnessing our breath, and allowing ourselves to detach from a thought, whatever thought comes to mind, and watch it float away like a cloud in the sky. This is something that Ram Dass, a uh, very, very influential spiritual teacher would often say in his meditations. You just watch them float away. And one's going to come pop up. You're just going to watch it float away. And that's all we're doing today. So if that sounds grandioso for you, we'll get started. For this one, I will be guiding a little bit more. I'll be directing, reminding a little bit more. And this will be about a 10-minute meditation. Didn't want to be too long for our very first one. Want to ease everybody into this practice because... 10 minutes can feel like a long time if you are not accustomed to it. So here we go. We're going to roll with it. And so set up your position if you have not found it yet. Sit down, lay down. Begin to close your eyes if you feel comfortable and safe with that. And as you begin to close the eyes and come inward to yourself to begin your journey of navigating your inner world, toning and regulating your nervous system, learning that there is space within you that perhaps you've forgotten about or there are some old skeletons lurking around, old cells that need to be dusted out. And upon that dusting, we find space. That is where the magic lies. And as you begin to bring your awareness to this space, allow yourself to become in rhythm with your breath and simply acknowledge your inhale and your exhale. Before we get any deeper, please set an intention for yourself for this 10 minute practice. This can be a feeling, this can be how you wish to move through your day. It can be an action if you would like. It can be how you move through this practice for yourself or for anyone around you, if that helps. And after you set your intention, relax, let it go, and begin to allow your inhale to lengthen the spine upwards as your tailbone goes down and you sink deeper into your seat. And as you exhale, allow yourself to reminisce in the deliciousness of your body. Because it is tasteful to feel yourself be. 
it is so warming to witness yourself. If you feel called to, I invite you to bring a hand to the chest and one to the belly. And upon your next breath, witness where and how deep your breath goes. When you inhale, does it go down and move the top hand on the chest only? Or does it travel all the way down to the belly where both hands are rising? Oftentimes in this fast paced world, we ignore how deep we breathe. And that is where I am hopeful to invite you to bring more awareness to breathing through the belly more often than not and down into the belly, into the pelvis area, out through the sides of the ribs and through the back. This massages all the organs, the spine, the vagus nerve, all these very crucial elements that make up the human body. And as you breathe inward, Imagine that you're drawing a big circle coming in up through the nose, down into the belly, coming full circle all the way back up through the chest, through the throat, and out of the nose once again. Envision that circle however feels best for you. And continue to to feel into the body as you lengthen that spine. You'll draw the shoulder blades down, away from the ears. Allow the front ribs right underneath the bra line or the nipple line downward so that your chest is not perking, but rather in a neutral position. Allow the hips to fall outwards and relax. And begin to acknowledge any micro adjustment you feel called to make in your body to feel stacked. Feeling stacked is when our bones are supporting us when the skeletal structure is doing its job in alignment. Often we throw ourselves on our muscles and we feel drained and tired from that. We cock our hips out to the side or we have a very big arch in the back crushing the sacrum and the vertebrae that make up that area of the spine which is at the bottom, if you don't know where the sacrum is. Lengthening the cervical spine or the neck vertebrae by tilting the chin down ever so slightly. Allowing your chest to become wide, opening the heart space by pulling the shoulder blades or the collarbones, excuse me, out to the side of the room or the space that you are in. And once you feel complete in the moment with micro adjustments, tuning in to the circling of the breath, allow it to deepen. And if you're able to hold the breath longer in your inhales and exhales, I invite you to do so. I will guide three rounds of inhaling for eight, holding for five, 
and exhaling for seven. On your next inhale, if this feels good for you, inhale one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, repeat, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold for five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hold, last time, five, four, three, two, one, exhale, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to a regular breath and notice the difference in how you feel if you participated in that breath within your body and your mind. Is there any more space in the body? Do you feel any more calm, any tranquility, any deeper sense? Just notice, do not attach, no need to question, analyze, let that all go in the wind. Just like clouds pass in the sky. And tune in to the breath deeper and deeper. Give yourself about 20 more seconds in this space. Any thoughts that are coming in, allow them to drift away like clouds in the sky. Relax deeper and deeper into your body. Anything on your mind can leave the vicinity of the space of your body, of your thoughts. We can come to those later. Meditation is about nurturing yourself in the moment by nourishing yourself with freedom, by letting go. That is the long lasting effect. You worry less. You realize that unless you are in an emergency situation, unless you are dying, you are starving, or you are cold, 
any of your immediate needs are not being met, you really need to go to the bathroom, then all will continue to roll onward without any action from you. Life will continue to move onward and you are not doing anything wrong by giving yourself a moment within the chaos, within the whirlwind. And my biggest intention for this group myself is to give you freedom back and control back to your mind, to your heart, to your emotions, to your connection with what is here and now. To provide a serene space for you to let go to be in this moment without obligation. And to remember that any thought that you have during the day can still be let go like a cloud in the sky floating away. If it is not of service to you, I highly recommend you wave goodbye with a big smile. Thank yourself for protecting yourself and reassuring yourself that you got this under control. By listening to this right now and hearing these words, you are actively participating in your life. We are almost to July. We're halfway through the year of 2022. Wild concept but you've made it halfway through this year. In the midst of all that is happening, that is aggravating or of a win or of a different kind of emotion, or you feel the energy of everyone around you You feel the feelings of the earth, of the collective, of our community, of our society, of the world. You are not alone and this practice will allow you to stay grounded in times when you want to flee. So I honor you and I thank you for joining me. We are going to end the meditation here. If you want to continue, if you have the time, the space, please allow yourself to move forward by sitting, feeling, watching the clouds, your thoughts roll on by, deepen the breath, stay present with your body, and just be aware. I'm honored to have you on this journey, whether you are actively participating live or if you are listening to the podcast. Thank you for everyone. It is a grand rising indeed on June 27th, our first Monday class that starts at 5.30 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you'd like to catch and register for the Wednesday class, that is going to start on the 29th at 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And I will have the Zoom registration link available at all times in my Instagram bio. And if you're interested on my website at Isabel Wellman, right on the homepage. So easy peasy to find me. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a marvelous rest of your day.